Antis roster of NBA endorsers has been growing, from Clay Thompson to Kyrie Irving, among others. The latest addition, Dante DiVincenzo. Reports say that Dante is set to be the face of an upcoming shoe from Anta, the Zap One, although the literal translation of the model in Chinese is Instant One. This is not an official signature shoe for Dante, at least not yet, but he is expected to showcase player editions of the shoe for the upcoming NBA season. That's what some reports are saying. Not much is known about the shoe, and some would even say that the same can be said about Dante. But let's talk. Welcome back, this is Fresh Pair. Smash the thumbs up button, share this video, follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my channel for updates. That said, let's dive in. If you don't know yet, Dante DiVincenzo currently plays for the New York Knicks in a four-year $50 million deal. Back in 2018, he was drafted by the Milwaukee Bucks as the 17th overall pick. In 2021, he won his first NBA championship with the Bucks, although he did not get to play for the most part of the playoffs due to a severe left ankle injury. Throughout his five-year NBA career, he has played for four teams, including the Sacramento Kings and the Golden State Warriors. Last season, he played 72 games with the Warriors where he averaged 9.4 points, 4.5 rebounds, and 3.5 assists on a 26.3-minute average per game. Before signing with Anta, Dante has been a Nike endorser for most of his career. Last season, he laced up Puma sneakers midway towards the end. It's not yet officially confirmed by Anta as of this time as to what the name of the shoes Dante will be wearing is, but we have two. A report from Nick DePaula says the name is Zap1. Meanwhile, a literal translation of the Chinese name is Instant1. But whatever the name is, it seems clear that the shoe is not a signature shoe. However, Dante will be wearing P's or player editions of the shoe bearing his initials. The logo of the shoes appearing on the tongue is said to be inspired by speed and movement, combined with abstract elements such as tornadoes and ultimately presents a rotating momentum, fully demonstrating the instantaneous sense of speed. That's according to Anta. For the tech specs of the shoe, what we do know is that it uses full-length Nitro Edge foam, which is Anta's counterpart to Adidas Boost and Puma's Nitro among other similar foams. The Nitro Edge foam appears to be caged almost completely by TPU except for a small section between the midfoot and heel. If you've played in the Anta GH4 or Gordon Hayward 4 before, expect the cushioning to be somewhat similar in feel. The upper material looks like a thin layer of mesh with the TPU film reinforcement at the toes. I'm not sure if there's enough foam padding in both the collar and tongue areas, but it seems that the foam padding looks like it needs a little more. There's also what Anta calls the A-Stable-Up anti-rollover structure which seeks to provide excellent lateral support performance and torsion resistance. Additionally, a TPU frame structure can be found on the outside of the forefoot supposedly to enhance the feedback speed of the forefoot. Meanwhile, the outsole pattern and hollow midsole are said to be designed for the characteristics of guards who are quick on their feet. So far, there's herringbone pattern and some ladder-like design on the middle of the outsole. According to Anta, the design not only enhances the grip but also reduces the weight of the shoe. A size 43 in European sizing weighs only 375 grams, but we'll see more about this as more photos surface. For the lacing setup, the shoe uses gilly lacing loops. There are four lace loops on each side plus one lace hole at the top. The lacing loops are stitched to the sides of the shoe and extend all the way to the base. Together with the TPU piece logo at the lateral, this should provide lateral resistance to the thin mesh upper material during sharp cuts and side-to-side -side movements. Are the shoes impressive? Hardly, but only because we are yet to see more of the shoe, be it in photos or videos or even in person. Stick around as I'll probably be talking more about the shoe in the coming days as more information surfaces. In the meantime, sit tight, keep an eye on Dante DiVincenzo because his performance can be a make or break for the future of his partnership with Anta.
And while you're at it, let me know what you think. Post your thoughts in the comment section, smash the thumbs up button, share this video to your friends, follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my channel for updates about the Anta Zap one or instant one, whatever the case may be. This is Fresh Bear. Thanks for watching. Peace and love to the fellow underdogs.